Hey guys, I just recently got back from a trip to Florida and the whole week in Florida, I did not do any heat on my hair. I just put mousse in my hair, scrunched it, let it air dry, and it was beautiful. And ever since then, I have only used heat on my hair twice in the past few weeks and I have loved having my natural hair. I've loved the easy upkeep. I've loved being able to take care of my kiddos and not worry about my hair, but my hair still somewhat looks pretty decent, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys how how I get my natural curly hair. To start off with, my hair is naturally fine and thin. I do not have a lot of hair, and the individual strands I have are very fine. They're not coarse, they're not thick. I have very thin, fine hair. When I let my hair air dry, the bottom of my hair and around my face is actually quite curly, but for the most part, the top of it is pretty straight. When I blow dry my hair with a little bit of heat protectant, you can see that it pretty much is straight. By blow drying it, it just blows and uh, takes the curl out of my hair. So how I do my hair naturally curly is this. I shampoo and condition my hair in the shower. And in the shower, after I condition it, I take a pick and I comb through my hair in the shower so it's nice and smooth. When I get out of the shower, I put my hair up in a towel and I let that sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. That way it soaks up most of the water in my hair. I take the towel out of my hair and I put a little bit of this serum in my hair. It is the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. I put this in my hair at the ends of my hair. That way it protects it. That way it kind of conditions and has a little bit of moisture just on the ends because our ends tend to dry up really fast. After I put the serum on the ends, I pick through my hair once again to smooth everything out. I add the Kenra mousse to my hair and kind of just scrunch it up. I'll find my part, kind of comb out my bang a little bit, and then add a little bit more mousse, kind of scrunch up my hair a little bit more. From last night, I let it air dry, I slept on it, I woke up this morning, I haven't touched it, put my makeup on, got dressed, and this is what it looks like. I can wear it just like this for a day. It's kind of still pretty curly. Maybe it looks a little crunchy. I can kind of like comb it through with my fingers. And I will wear it like this for a day. Then tomorrow, this will be really pretty because it'll look more wavy and not like so much like the crunch that I've added to it and then I'll put a braid in my hair on the top. The next day, I can like pull it in a ponytail or you know braid it to the side. Then the next day, I can pull my hair up and put it in a bun. Now, that's kind of a lot of days to go without washing your hair. For me, I think it's great. If I can like get away with four or five days without washing my hair, it's awesome. My hair is not very greasy if I do use dry shampoo. Lately, I have been liking the Batiste, the Baltiste, I think is how you say it, from Ulta. And that's how I've been doing my hair the past few weeks. I have loved it. Seriously, love it. I don't have to add any heat tools to it. It's been great if we go to the lake for a day. It's great for me being home with my newborn and my other baby that I can just do a little bit of makeup and really not have to worry about my hair. And I still feel like I'm a little bit put together. But as you can see when I just let my hair air dry at, at the first clip, I don't have a whole ton of curl. I mean, yeah, I have a lot of wave at the bottom, I think, but it's not like I just let it air dry and it's like beautiful waves. So I think that this is really fun. You could totally diffuse your hair where you add the attachment to the blow dryer that has little spikes that you go through and diffuse your hair. But like I said, if I can just get away with this for the summer, like, great. So I'm gonna take the comb a little bit and I don't wanna tease my hair a ton. I don't wanna add any breakage, but just very ever so lightly, you can see. I'm just gonna back comb it just a little bit. And that, I think, gives me some lift. Then I'm just gonna take some hairspray. 
spritz it, you kind of crunch it. And seriously, I've been wearing it like this and it'll kind of fall down and not be so big a little bit later, but this is what I've been doing to my hair and I love it. I, it could not be any easier and any better. This is what the back looks like. I haven't even looked at it. Does it look okay? I'm sure it does. Okay, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you guys have pretty naturally straight hair and you try this and you like it, let me know through Instagram or Twitter. Definitely take pictures and show me if, if you do something like this and like it. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for requesting this video. It was kind of fun to do. It's really easy, but I wanted to go step through step to show you how my hair is and how, how my hair turns out. That way you can kind of compare to how your hair is and how maybe it will turn out. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.